Good morning. morning. Welcome back to Amber Cove. It's our last port day. Huh. We get sad. <laughs> anyway, uh, we were just here last week. We just we did an awesome tour with Iguana Mama. Today we are just going to relax at the Puel. Go show around the port. Yeah. Yes, we've done that before, but it's been a while. Mm -hmm. We need just a chill day because Amber Cove is a carnival owned port. It's not a private island, yeah. um, but carnival owned. And they have a cool little pool and restaurant. Zip lines, and water stuff. slide, all that kind of fun stuff. Yeah, yeah. no, no. Well, let's see. Zip lines are additional. Additional. Water slide, I think, was free last time we were here. Maybe it costs now. Oh. I don't know. Food and drink, obviously, are extra. <laughs> if you have a beverage package, it does not work no. in Amber Cove, any of that stuff, which we don't have one anyway. Nope. So let's go grab some breakfast and get our day started. Yay. <laughs> Yeah, see, they're still painting on the pool today. It is towel animal takeover morning at that. All oh, these stinking chair hugs. Oh, there's my favorite chair hug right there. There's alligator, snail. Oh, gigantic ones over here. Monkey on the sign. That was a weak, weak elephant. You need some coffee or something. I don't know. Cute. But yes, pool beautification is in progress. So pool closed yesterday, apparently probably closed today as well. We are here for those burritos. little cabs running this morning for gratuities they are free of charge other than a tip do not cross the red line or they will tweet tweet at you you're not allowed to go look at the fish no. man all kinds of cabs taking people up it is a long pier. it is quite a long pier but we've had lots of breakfast burritos and we need our stuff <laughs> true <laughs> And as we mentioned before, the current protocols are masks inside and outside in the Dominican Republic. I see folks not doing it, but you know. There is our port map of Amber Cove. We actually have a whole port guide video about Amber Cove, but hey, we can take a little peek. We are heading to number 15 today, Zipul. Rentals and features. Oh, they don't have any prices here, but it does just say pool access chairs and two water slides are free. We got a party in the duty free shop. I mean, it's canned music, but you know, it's festive. So we are going to turn right and head to, well, I see it says zone two, but we are going to something, an extreme right to the pool. Coco Canyon Lounge. Lots of music over here at the pool, so it might be limited vlogging today, but that's all right. We're in relax mode. Well, there's still a good number of chairs available out here, so we're just gonna snag some spots and hit that water. Oh, I forgot about these shady bridges. I do like those. Yeah, there's your ledge. <laughs> shady underbridge pools bin. Yes. It's a cool option that they have that. It is refresh. That's exactly what I need. And unlike the ship pool, everybody can get in. <laughs> it's, true. It's, it's a lot bigger. A lot bigger. <laughs> Dee is running away. We're going to have a little wander here around the main part of the pool. Y'all, why do I keep saying pool weird? Can I not just say the word pool? I've said pool, pooloolulu. I don't know what I've said. Y'all, smack me. Tell me. Pool. We're in the pool, y'all. Well, they got a lot of those cabana options. I know they got the poolside ones. They've got the cliffside ones. I guess that's the little zip line area up there. Haven't seen too many people doing the zip line today. Well, they got lots of blendy stuff here at the bar. I see some kind of strawberry thing and a pina colada. We managed to snag a drink menu. That's kind of cool. It's like a really thick uh, laminated thingamajig. Ooh, what's over on the other side? Shots. 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 It's a non-alcoholic. Oh, help me. Logo stuff. Oh, that's cute. So let's take a little peek down this list of beverages. All right, they got some good stuff on there. They've definitely upgraded the menu since we were here that one time and they had two drinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are these things? Those are called flowers. See the no. little flowers? Oh, uh, They're cute. I saw somebody with one. I'm like, gosh. Oh, it's like a beer. No, I don't like beer. Thing. Hey, they got Macarique's rum, of course. Uh, well, that makes sense, actually. Oh, we've also got their food menu up here. Let's have a little windy peek down that while we're here. Ooh. Low 
go-go shop. <laughs> so we both went with the strawberry margarita. It kind of matches your pants. <laughs> Not really. It matches my back. With the it does match your back more than your pants. That could be true. <laughs> Yeah, good little peek at the slide action back there. I don't really think we've seen anybody go on the slide either, though. That is included. Looks cool, though. So this is what we are doing for right now. If you need us, we will be in the pool. <laughs> y'all, we have been in this pool for about four days, <laughs> and I have recorded approximately two seconds of talking to y'all. Well, we've been meeting a lot of people. We awesome. have. We've just been sitting in the pool. Yeah. Folks have been strolling by saying hey, which is amazing. Yeah. We have met so many amazing people on this. Did I say amazing twice? Because they are. I, I, I say amazing more than you do. They're awesome. They're very awesome. Spectacular. <laughs> That's the end of my words. Update. We're still in the pool. We're still chilling. in the pool, y'all. We might go do something here in a Might walk around. Jay doesn't want to yeah, go up the hill. I feel like, <laughs> no, we'll, I, we've never climbed up the hill we to like, do it for the vlog. look at the water slide entrances and the cabanas and stuff. So I'll probably do that. We'll get hot and then we'll come back in the pool. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Hey, uh, Update. <laughs> all right, it is field trip time. So we are going to finally make the climb to the top, an area we've never been to. Maximum weight, 230 pounds, no cameras, no high heels or sneakers or <laughs> cell phones. Oh, hey, zip line. What else can we learn? Four feet or taller. Wow, wow. Uh, no t-shirt permitted. I feel like a rap Gotcha. Yeah. No eyes or glasses or sunglasses. <laughs> Guys, you can't have eyes on this ride. You know how to walk. Have fun, be safe. We actually like pointing out fun signs. Y'all, make sure you be <laughs> safe on this ride. This ride will save you. All right, let's uh, We're let's go explore, let's go somewhere. So we get a nice little squeaky stroll up the ramp here. Don't think uh, anybody is doing the water slide today, but we will look. Now, what is okay? So that's the stairs to the slide. Here, this is what it looks like. Judging by the picture that says slide this way. Cool. Let's wander and see what's. Uh, I think this might be the zip line zone. This is where they keep all the Jurassic Park dinosaurs back here. I saw that movie. I know that fence is not sturdy. <laughs> huh? Cows out there. Jurassic cows in the distance. I do. Actually, that's a bull. Oh, that's a lot of bull. All right, let's keep walking. There's a Ruta de Evacuacion up here. Oh, we ran down to the top of the stairs again. Okay, so both the stairs or the ramp take you up here to the water slides. Gotcha. It has started raining upon us. Riders must lie on their backs at all times. There is the zip line station up there. We actually just got some intel from a gentleman whose uh, family member was getting ready to go on the zip line. You do have to wear your mask on the zip line. So that is interesting. Currently. Currently. I'm sure that could change in the future, but right now masks required. He had to go back down and get a mask for his family member so that they could ride the zip line. And I guess actually because I'm not actively eating, drinking, or swimming, I am probably supposed to be wearing one right now too, so whoops. Gosh, this song is awesome. I like it. Apologies to the country of Dominican Republic for not bringing my mask up here. Hopefully it's not required. I'm outside. No, I think we're, we're not near anybody. Uh, Y'all, these are some confusing times right now. Oh, here's some of the, I assume these are what they call the cliffside cabanas. We're not gonna go in there, but a little cute shower and handy stuff. Yeah, I guess this giant contraption is a bar because, oh yeah, I can see some tiled uh, stuff up there. They do advertise having like a sky bar, but it appears to be closed. We made it to the top of the zipline mountain. Okay, oh, minimum weight 68, <laughs> maximum 265. Gotcha. Now it says securely hold cameras and phones. Oh, slides, no cameras or phones, Correct. but apparently you can zipline with them little lockers on the side to keep all your stuff in there and then you just wander down to the platform I won't go too much further because we have not paid for the zip line but then you have to come all the way back up here to get it oh You're that is true <laughs> so we came up this path I guess we're gonna see where this other little path down here goes raining a little more intently now oh we do get some nice views on the way down and I hear some zip lining after traversing down that stairway we've kind of come out over here not quite by the duty-free shop but close 
and learning about dolphins and whales and things. I see one right there. Please. What better way to escape the rain than to get back into the pool? That's my philosophy. So that was our quick little field trip. The sun is back out now, the rain has stopped. And if y'all get here in the next few minutes, you can hang out with us at the pool in Amber Cove. Is that how, is that how time works? No. <sighs> Dang it, y'all. It's a good day. I'm just gonna sit here and nod. Yeah. We got a little hot dog stand over there serving some food. Oh my gosh, it's Dee's underwater play world. Yeah. I would go under that tree. That would feel really different. It probably would. Yeah. I guess that little bucket up there doesn't dump. It looks like one of those dumping buckets, but. Yeah. Oh. The sun. <laughs> and yes, I am being good, wearing my mask again. I can't believe I forgot it when I went up the mountain. Man, by Amber Cove. Yeah, we just cut up straight by the restaurant. A fishy foot spa. I have never done that. Yeah, it's kind of like snorkeling with your toes. Yeah, no, um, I have natural like feet exfoliation, like just from snorkeling. I'm good. Okay, yeah. I had to think of it worked. Yeah, just while you're snorkeling, the feet come up and just nibble your feet, your skin, whatever. I don't have words either. I don't know. Neither one of us has words right now. The fish. Yeah, we kind of looked at the small menus earlier. These are some gigantic menus posted outside. Not bad, but I'm gonna hop back on the ship and locate some lunch. All of the shopping appears. Well, things look generally open. I see Diamonds International is open. But we are wandering back through the Dufry. These, why are you, people are yelling at me in the background. What, what y'all doing? I'm trying to be professional out here, y'all. There's none of that here. Gosh. Yeah. Hello, everybody. What up? Y'all know Griff and Alyssa, right? Hi. If you don't, you do now. You do now. Link in the description. Hashtag something. Awesome. I think we just beat the rains. The drops were starting to come out of the sky as we were walking up the gangway with Griffin and Lizzo. Yeah, we timed that pretty well. So we spent about three hours out at the pool. And we're never gonna survive. Unless it's seal, seals in our room. I mean, I think it's a seal. Baby, okay. I can to a kiss How many guys? What's your favorite seal that song? Because I think I only know two. So there's our two seal songs. <laughs> That's my favorite. Stop by the cabin long enough to get some dry clothes, and we are gonna get some lunch. It is about two o'clock p.m., and we are feeling like maybe some Mongolian walk. I think we're open until two thirty. So we'll see how busy they are. I feel, you know, this time of day, maybe the Mongolian walk hype has died off. So, so into the Gigi's Cucina entrance for complimentary pasta bar and Mongolian walk. Down. Well, look at you being all graceful. <laughs> yeah, we got a nice view out the window. And we're gonna do our little SAT test. So it appears as though they are out of pork and mussels and clams right now, but there are still a ton of other options. I wasn't gonna get that anyway. Me neither. <laughs> Y'all, did you hear me say SAT test earlier? That is like saying ATM machine, pin number. You know I know better than that. What is wrong with me today? I need to go back in the pool. <sighs> All right, let's compare answers. Uh-oh, one of us is gonna fail because we picked different things. Y'all, can you tell whose is whose before we get to the bottom and see people's names? Yeah, you should have known. No spicy, <laughs> slightly spicy. We both have decided to start off with the little salad and the wontons with like a sweet and sour dipping sauce. Cute. Food has arrived, super fast, super green, super fresh. All right, we are done with lunch. They got the doors all closed because it's after 2.30, so we shut them down. It is dark up here. <laughs> so we've come down to Lido now, and we are gonna see what gelato flavors we're working with today. As we walk by a tree. Hazelnut and raspberry. Ooh, over here next to the gelato toppings, we found chocolate chip cookies, y'all. They had been missing the chocolate chip cookies from Lido, but there they are. Y'all do not judge this plate of chocolate chip cookies. I have not had them in two weeks, other than on the island. Oh, that's actually true. I like your math better than my math. <laughs> 
So hazelnut gelato, that one looks nice and creamy. The raspberry does have that weird sort of chunky texture that we I'm discovered the other day. And it, it tastes good, it's just a strange texture. Yeah, I saw as we were up there getting it, he was putting like some more mixture in there, I think to smooth it out, so anyway. So hazelnut gelato, smooth and delicious. Raspberry, not so good today. I don't know if you can over churn gelato. Anyway, if it looks chunky, don't get it. Now these cookies, they're gonna make me look chunky. If I don't look chunky already, they're good. They're not the super crumbly cookies of Lido decks of old. It's like the new recipe that they were starting to do, I think just before the shutdown. They're good. I'm glad we found these and I got like seven of them. You're welcome. That's right. Technically, you found them. That is behind the sugar cookies. You couldn't see them. They were hard to spot. Yeah. Let's play the what was on the lunch buffet game today. Broccoli, mashed potatoes, <gasps> vegan chilaquiles. What? Old-fashioned beef and ale stew. We gotta get a closer look at those chilaquiles, y'all. Um, that's a bar. Yeah. Y'all, that didn't work like I thought it would. Mahi mahi chicken alfredo, chicken lasagna, sweet and sour pork. All right. I see you back there, Chilaquiles, but not today. Pool check, still closed. We're trying to keep an eye to see when they get that bad boy open back up again, but no water in the pool. You still got the aft pool option, obviously, so we're just we're just keeping an eye on that Lido pool. And Amico, huge pool. That was we're a giant pool. pool. That's good. Mm. All right, we're gonna take a slightly weird way to get up to deck 12 through the clubhouse. Reggie is singing away down there. <laughs> Yeah, we haven't walked through the clubhouse. They have like the little football billiard thing here. Gosh, I'm bright. I'm a ghost, y'all. Yeah, we have not yet set foot inside this place. Let's see, we are gonna try this sky ride. Well, I say we, D is gonna try this sky ride. The sky course is open. It is windy. I think we are in luck. She is getting all geared up inside the blue Skyride car. We've got a camera strapped to her head and everything, so let's see what happens. Whee! There's Jay! And she's off. This is not nerve wracking at all. No, it doesn't look nerve wracking a bit. Well, I guess we're gonna follow you around. I have to go down to deck 11 to, uh, man, she gonna make me do the dragon track. Wow, pretty. Woo! There's everybody down at the sports square. Whoa, where am I going? <laughs> I didn't know I was gonna have to get my steps in today now. Yeah, I see what they're saying about the tall people. It's like hard to keep your feet on the pedals. Woo, we're turning. I need some some steam to get up this hill. Ugh. Push, push, push. This is where the uh, bicycle comes in handy at home for working out. Oh my gosh, the downhill thing looks fun. We're going on a hill. I couldn't have picked a prettier port to do this in, I don't think. Hey everybody down there, what's up? I'm just talking to people. I found a shortcut. <laughs> uh oh, I think she's coming up on her downhill. Oh gosh, here's my hill. We picked a pretty good port to have her do this ride. There she goes, back into the station. How was that, that excitement? Was fun. The downhill like, was like, whoa! <laughs> 100% again. 100% would do again. Yeah. I need I need more steps in my life. <laughs> We're coming back through the clubhouse. Let me take a little peek at the ping pong tables, foosball table. Somebody left a walkie talkie. I think that's the gentleman cleaning. That probably belongs to him. Sky billiards. Hey y'all, it is dinner time. 
We don't look like we're dressed for dinner, do we're we? Super casual, uh, and I love it. <laughs> what is going on? We're gonna do dinner at the buffet <gasps> because we had the menu last week, and this is the one night we're like, eh, you know, we didn't really see anything we wanted to try like That's different true. than what we've already had, and we're gonna watch a movie Yo. out on deck, Independence Day. Jay I has have never, ever, seen ever it. seen it, so I'm like, we have to go see that. I know, you know, Will Smith and all that stuff. Um, yeah. yeah, so yeah, the, the, the menu tonight, like you said, it's yeah. a repeat from last week. It's a good menu. No, it's good. It's just we don't want to try anything different. Right, but we're like, huh, if we have to pick a night to skip, <laughs> this is a good one yeah. to do it. So, I mean, food's been good overall. Mm -hmm. I've enjoyed the dining room experience. Same. But we're going to go see the buffet for yeah. research purposes. Somebody did ask us to do that. They so did, there actually. You so, ha -ha. This is for you. We blame you. I'm just kidding. And get popcorn. And yes, y'all. A drink. Y'all. We might be confirming. Remember that nasty rumor yeah. I talked about earlier? It's already all over Facebook yeah, and everything. Yeah, you've probably seen Should it. we tell it or just wait for it? We can tell it. So apparently they're now charging. Yeah. I think it's $3, $3 a box for the popcorn, which always was complimentary. Right. So it's been this big thing on Facebook. I know, y'all. I mean, I, I think Changes. they're just trying to like make up ground for like lost revenue for almost over well over a year yeah they need yeah. that money and it might not be a permanent thing but at yeah. least for right now they're charging for the dive-in movie popcorn are we gonna buy some probably maybe for, <laughs> again for research sake <laughs> we'll so. see if it tastes any better now that it costs money it's probably not gonna taste any better it's know. fine it's fine so lido dinner yeah dive-in movie yeah three dollar popcorn and drinks it sounds right. like a great evening. Let's go it's do a stuff. Nice Come on, let's get out of this room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, let's use the actual car wash. I like this thing. It looks a little freaky. But <laughs> it works. I think it's a 12 second wash cycle. It does tickle then. Yes. <laughs> We're going to watch the entire 12 second wash cycle because you know what? We are that committed. We heart clean right. hands. Was that 12 seconds? Sure. Um, okay. Cool. Yeah, this is actually like a lot of the same stuff that's in the dining room right now. Steamed mussels, panne shrimp, tiger shrimp creole. Yeah, we, the barbecue brontosaurus spare ribs. This is the same stuff. Yeah, we've got jambalaya, panne with shrimp, mussels, chicken. Pretty good looking. My plate is like a sea of orange and craziness. I got a pumpkin <laughs> cheese pot pie, basically. Some jambalaya, pasta, bread, chicken, that gruyere soup. You got a, a little more composed. baked potato with green beans. Yours is much more colorful well, and composed. Well, the green beans help, yeah. They really do. <laughs> Y'all do not even look down at the end of that leg because you will be so disappointed in sock of the day today. <laughs> mm. All right, initial dinner takeaways. People are like, why don't you ever talk about your food? So, hey, jambalaya, pretty stinking delicious. I really like that. Pasta is cooked really well on this dish. Got a decent flavor to it. I like the cook. The cook on the pasta really impressed me because on a buffet. Poor little chicken. <laughs> Tastes good. It's crispy, but it's kind of bland as it's anything. Well, I just need seasoning. It's literally a fried hunk of chicken. Yeah. You know, hit or miss. <sighs> yeah, yeah. This little pumpkin, uh, pumpkin pot pie, whatever we want to call it, kind of the sleeper. It's almost a little sweet. It's got a little dessert characteristic to it, but I don't know. Jambalaya and pumpkin pot pie are my two winners for tonight. Y'all, there's also a big, gigantic, like, roast beef back there that you can just get. Watch a watch a slice this chopped off of. See this person right there? They're going to get him some roast beef. Good call. Good call. <laughs> For desserts, we got vanilla cherry cream cake, donkey talking on the speaker, praline cake, cappuccino mousse. Okay, this is interesting stuff. Salted caramel apple crisp pudding. For dessert, it's not the prettiest plate, but I had to get the salted caramel apple crisp. The espresso mousse. This was that cherry vanilla cake, and of course the praline, 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 pralinaline cake. However you choose to say that word. Oh, I don't know. It wasn't marked as sugar free. Oh, maybe I might. You know, I don't read. So we'll just try this, and we'll let you know how it goes. All right. Since I did the entrees, we're gonna let Dee narrate her thoughts on these desserts. Okay. This is the apple crisp, and I think it's better than the apple pie in the dining room, personally. I agree. Yeah, it's, it's not as good as Royals, but don't say but, anything. Hey, now. Royals apple pie is really good. <laughs> this is the coffee espresso mousse, mousse. Espresso mousse. It tastes just like the filling of tiramisu. It's delicious. True. Some sort of cherry cake 
Vanilla cherry. Does not taste like anything. Yeah, very little flavor. And this is, I think, the sugar-free praline cake that you can get in the dining room. It's, it's pretty decent for a sugar-free dessert. Yeah, pretty good. Those two, yes. Yeah, I would go first place, second yeah. place, third place. Don't get it. Leave it on the buffet. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was sharing. It had huge, look, I got oh my finger. Huge pieces of cherry in it, and I was so excited for that flavor, <laughs> and then I'm like, uh, where'd the flavor go? It's all right, but Yum. get that and get that. <laughs> Heck yeah. So there you have dinner reviews with D&J. Now see, food is so subjective. We rarely talk about things that we like. Now, if something is not tasty, we will tell you. But you know, things we like, other people might not like. If you don't like coffee, you're not gonna like the espresso thing. If you're allergic to apples, don't eat the apple thing. You know. So now we've come out to Lido. Whoop, maybe they're finishing up the pool there. We are going to try to sneak up above and get in these cozy chairs that we found the other day. Yo, there are still some towel animals out here from Towel Animal Takeover. They are beyond cute. Poor little bedraggled elephant here at the Red Frog Rum Bar. <laughs> That's the noise he makes. Ah, uh, yes, this will do nicely. Yeah, people still doing the sky ride. So here we are. And here we will be for the next three hours or so. Independence Day is a long it's movie, isn't it? It's two hours and 25 minutes. I don't remember it being that long. But I believe it. We haven't seen any movies on deck. The whole True. Time, so we're doing it. Yeah, <laughs> and we're just up from the Red Frog Rum Bar, which is where we should be able to go buy a box of popcorn. I believe so. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what's going on down here in this little roped off area. There's a gentleman who seems to be like super sanitizing some deck chairs. He's got three specific deck chairs in there and he is real spraying those bad boys and wiping them down. And there's some people that seem to be interested in watching him doing it. You think somebody done puked it or pooped it in a deck chair? Oh, yeah, actually, <laughs> I that's know. what I, 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 I did know. see them on Amber Code, like, spraying the chairs so they're doing okay. sanitizing. It's, it's good to see that they're doing this. Yeah. I have no idea what's going on to them. I know, it's like they brought ropes Ow. out to, like, section off that area so that he can work in it, and there's, like, an officer lady standing there staring and watching him do it. Y'all, he is really going to town on these chairs. He's flipped them on their sides. He's scrubbed all the legs. He's scrubbed the floor that they've been sitting on. I'm worried there might be like a toxic waste zone down there or something. So I'm glad we're up here. Uh-oh, that chair has just been freed. Freedom? Nope, he's like, boy, you need to scrub that harder. I mean, this has got to be some kind of crime scene or something. They need yellow police tape wrapped around this area. Y'all, y'all, y'all get away from there. Hey. Those people, they, they can't hear me way up here. All right, y'all, the movie is starting. I'm getting ready to come investigate this popcorn situation. I heard it popping earlier. All right, I may as well get a popcorn if I can. Let's see if we can doctor it up with a little bit of salt. But $3 confirmed. How's your popcorn? It's exactly this. I sprinkled a little salt on top just to try to wake it up a little bit. Yes, I did. Look, the, the, did you see that strip? vlog saw me do it anyway gosh guys we don't know if it's gotta be it's not. yeah this is the original the old independence day okay bye so i have now officially seen all of independence day i'd seen bits and pieces but you know how it is we're gonna run down to deck five now well a we need air conditioning it was hot out there, but we're gonna go listen to some music. Well, we've got violin music in the atrium, live music at the piano bar, music at the pig and anchor, but we'll be back there later. We are here for the rock band in Ocean Plaza. Woo, the place is jumping. We got a little seat over here to the side. We'll get like a nice little side angle. heading down here now there's a game called guess that riff with aura pop in uh guys brew house so we're heading down taking the outside route that way oops they've given us permission to push the door gently because it was not working <laughs> listen to the band a little while longer because that trivia was awesome. We 
are the only ones in here listening to the last set of the night, and we are getting to make all the requests out of the book. This is like y'all. This is this is a private concert right here. Shut the pig and anchor down. It's about 11:45, and our pop just wrapped up. A couple of other people came in toward the end and requested songs, so it wasn't just us, which was good to see. It is so late; they just have canned music in the Havana. Everything is shutting down. The club is jumping, but you know what? It else is jumping. The bed. That doesn't make sense. You're not supposed to jump on the bed, right? That's frowned upon. <laughs> This is where they keep their sleepy D's in the elevator. Hmm. Wow, you're really brightly spotlit too, so. <laughs> it's like the sun in here. <laughs> Alright, we're going back Did to I the, the right I hope so. <laughs> Can't change it now, yeah. Dick six. Good night, y'all. It is bedtime. Dee's already asleep, so I hope y'all didn't need to talk to her before we went to bed. I'm very tired. Y'all, it is like midnight to tight, and we are going to get in bed. I know, see, I'm loud. I know, but people tell you you're quiet. And, and I, I have to, to be, be loud, and you shush me, and then everybody says I whisper. How can I win, y'all? I can't win. <laughs> Good night. Y'all were going to bed. We were so tired. So we were going to pop by the club, which is down in Limelight, and we were like, you know what? Uh-uh. It's my fault. You guys have seen a club. It's just music. You know what clubs look dancing. like? Yay. That's what it looks like. Awesome. Aren't you glad we told you we that? We don't care. We're too tired. All right, we're going to bed, y'all. Goodbye. Good night.